Uh, so welcome back guys and um on this tutorial i just want to show you how you can use the skin gen uh to make your character look more uh, realistic and um if you're having the character creator the rip you can be able now to modify like then i showed you how to like you can add your character how you can add some clothes how you can put here on the last video and on this video uh, I just want to show you how you can use the skin gen to make your character. So if you log into this uh, character creator, so you go here and you go to where we have the makeup, you find this here down like skin gen tool. So when if you want to do any modification, like you want to add like skin, a uh, skin base and everything, it will have to open for you the thing here we call the skin gen. And you can activate the skin gen direct, but what I like to do, maybe I would like to come here and uh, let's say maybe I want to add some, let's see what we have here. So no more effect for sure. Uh, so let me be, let, let's check like something like body here, no, uh, maybe like acne. So we have those acne or let me put something else like aqua, let's see what we have. Uh, we have like something like a scar, liquid, and whatever. Let's see also here on the, this the, this other button here. When you click it, you see makeup, and the other one is skin. So on the makeup, maybe I just want to put some full makeup. So if I decide to choose one of this one, maybe let me just try this one here, so that I can show you what I mean. So this might take like one to two minutes because it has to load all the features for the skin gen. And whatever I'm using here is the skin gen that come with the character creator. So if you want a skin gen premiere, which I can show you right now, you can get it on the uh, the character creator. So this one is more advanced, like you can have more character, like you can do so many things with it. So. Um, let me first of all show you what comes first of all the character creator and I'm waiting for this one to finish loading. And when it's done, now what you see here is that you can now start to see here there's something that is already opened. And I'm waiting for this one to go up to a hard rate so it's not going to take long. And so that I can show you what I mean. So now we have the skin gen and the thing is that when you open the skin gen, all the growth will be, yeah, it happens like that. So the cloth will be hidden and the character will just look like that. So now we can start by uh, adding some lipstick and let me just, you just need to double click. And now you have this table here. So with this table here, you can now start to increase it like the opacity color laughness if you want to see so you can just zoom in to see how they look like so maybe you can reduce and up to where you want to see your character lips the one that you like so you can just play with it and maybe the eyeshadow Now you can come and you see if you just look at the character, she already has uh, some eyeshadow. So you can just increase the, so let me just zoom. You can click J to zoom, but and then you zoom this character so that you can see the face good. And maybe you can just increase the brightness of the eyeshadow. You see like something is changing, so you can make them a bit darker. And no, I will not like to, I will not ask you to pull the, uh, here because that one will change everything opacity let's see what is going to happen so you can play with these figures here until you get what you want so the other thing i'd like to do maybe i can try the uh, contour and there are so many things here like you can do you can change the color you can share the scale you can do everything so 
this is where you like like the eyeliner if you want to shade your eyeliner so everything you just need to double click and then it will appear on your um, uh, skin gen and then you can have everything the way that you want to shade them so maybe we can try like this one here let me see So let me just do some exposure. Let me uh, first of all out my character a bit because so that we can see this one on the side. So um, what I'm doing here is that I'm trying to, you, you just have to look for what you need and you will get a result that you need. This is just according to how you want to see your character looking like. So you know you can come here like, let me just put some eyebrow no that one i don't like so i'm just like this on the uh let's try to see this one how it's going to look so it asked me to add or to replace because there is already one here so i would just like to say replace to be so easier than just adding on top of another layer so uh what we're doing here is that you now you can see like you have this thing here like your character has some um, eyeliner here And whatever we can add, maybe we can decide to add uh, something like a tattoo. If we just want to add something like a tattoo or a scar, let's try a tattoo. Let's see. Oh, this look more not. Let's look what we have. No, that one I, it's not also good. So, um, liquid. Oh, no. So, let's try something like we want to put an acne let's put it like that and then see what we are going to have so this is how you try to make your character look more realistic there's an a oil skin here so this one you can try to play with the opacity like when you add the Basically, and you look so close you see that your character skin will be more shiny like it's more oily play with micro things here and also some contrast if you just want to, to put some contrast and expansion so if you can put everything like metallic is also loveness let me try some loveness and normal strength and now if you look at your skin so close you see like there's some so let's put like one acne here like let's put you see the skin is starting to get some acne if you look at it so good she has some one here and there's another one here down so you can also increase some size or increase the number you just need to come here and you try to pray with the laughness the skin no more and everything It's just a matter of you just trying to see what we are good for you. A pattern like, let's see, what up? You see, if you try to add some pattern, the acne will be more bigger. You can also add the scale. Um, so, uh, position disorder, you can just play with this one and see what is going to work for you good. So when you are done now, when you are done and you want to go back to where your character was, you just need to deact. So this here, there's a point of makeup. Let's see what we have on the makeup. On the makeup, you have the lips. So let's try to make our lips look so, yeah a bit good so you can kill the opacity and you see that now your lips when you reduce it is getting um more when you increase it's getting more red than what you expected to have it so um then you can try to add like the eyeliner to make them and then you have the outfit but on the outfit you just need to change your clothes and whatever so if you look now your character she look more like she has some acne here she doesn't look more of robotic character she looks more 
of uh, more realistic character so you can just play with everything here and try to see what is going to work for you good and for your character and when you're done don't forget to remove the skin gen uh, to deactivate it so that you can be able to continue doing because it's going just to use a lot of your computer and your memory so you have just to click it and deactivate it so that you can be able to continue editing so now let's see how our character look without now you see that she has so those dots they are appearing here they appear because your character you can do something like you can convert your character if you, you use the cc plus character like the one i told you have all this. this is a very good high quality character that's why they have some like some dots but when you bring this character to the icron way or in another um uh 3d and motion software this they will not be appearing the same way so um that's how you have to do it and yeah so the other thing we can do is that we can maybe we can just try to come back here and we change like the eyes but maybe we can try to make the eye look so they ask me to replace i'll just say yes yeah, maybe look good or uh, we try the black one uh, repress and yeah now you have like that way so that's how you use the skin gen to make your character look more like the like more human realistic with some acne like you can add also some tattoos like uh, I can show you a very good a quick tutorial let me try to see whether this one this one is going to take long maybe i can try to load a uh, man let me go to the full body this is if you just want to share this character to become a man you just need to come here and click and it will ask you to apply just say you want to apply everything and when you're done now you can uh start now modifying so let's see what is going to happen So this may take some time, uh, a bit, some moment to convert this character, but yeah, only one, almost one, uh, about one minute and it will be done so you can be able to start. So now <laughs> the problem that we have here is that our man came with a cloth and everything and that's, that's not what we wanted. So we can just delete the hair, delete here. Yeah, and now you have your man and then we can dress this you can delete this dress here because we don't need it and also this one because those who are the ladies and you see now he is wearing that. so you can just do like that one and let's just go and put him like main dress so I, for this tutorial let me just put him just like a shirt uh, let me go to the professional outfit and see which kind of shirt like I have here So I have like let me just put him this one here and then like I showed you in the other video like you have to say fit body shape And then you say okay And now he has the dress so we can also put him some pants And we can just take one from one here so now he look like yeah a human so whatever i wanted to show you is how you can use the skin gen like to add some tattoos and everything so if i come here to the acquire so i can take one of those tattoos and I, I say that this is the tattoo i want to put on my character and what is just going to happen is that uh we just have we just need to wait it for it to load and then this tattoo will be appearing on your head or on the head of your character 
so let's just give it like one 30 seconds i think it will be done and then again we can just try to modify this tattoo and see how we can try to make it look more yeah that's the, the things that you have that the best thing about using and creating the characters and try to make them look more realistic the way you want them to see Yeah, As so I'm um, back. So this is what happened when you now you try to add the tattoo. And now you can see now you have this tattoo here that is appearing here. And that's how you use the skin gen. So you can do so many things with the skin gen. You just need to come and check on it. Try to see what is go working good for you. And when you are done, then you can uh, try. Just don't forget because this one is now activated. If you want to go back now, you just need to click here. And now your character will be again dressed and the skin gen will, not be, no be, will, will be no more active when you're using your character creator. Because if you don't deactivate it, you cannot do anything on your character creator. So um, for this video, I would like to first of all to um, leave you there and thank you for watching the video i'm just coming back with another video to show you something that you can also do with the character creator i uh, like i told you i'm just going to show you step by step so we have so many things to do to tackle so i don't want to make one long video i just want to make some small video so that you can be able to check for what you need on the color creator and do your projects so uh thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my tutorials and you want to learn more things from my videos so thank you and bye for now